Czech Republic. And then Alex Newhook, who now leads Team Canada in points, got his fourth goal of the tournament. And here we are, a 2-1 lead for the Czech Republic as Korzak dumps it in deep. Cousins racing in. He's with Krebs. The captain gets knocked down to Korzak. Slap shot. Knocked down in front. And Krikrill picks it up for the Czechs. Harley dips it off the far wall. It's moved right back in. And Krebs goes on it for Team Canada. Here comes Krebs. Nice speed. Through center ice. The return pass is stopped as Krebs. Nice give and go. And Parrott got to be sharp. Krebs comes deep into the zone, moves through the neutral zone with speed, and then just a perfect backhand pass to the streaking Alex Newhook. He tries to go right down the middle of the ice for a redirect. Excellent thought process. Eshack sends it across. Eshack return feed, and Harley got the stick there in time. Good defensive play from Thomas Harley. After a terrible defensive play, jumping up into the neutral zone and allowing that two-on-one to happen. Milchuk has a look. He shoots it back in. Meshack, he was pinned by Harley. And here comes Tracy up the right wing. Tracy around Barinka has a look. He shoots it in. Herrick has a look. Has to play it quickly. And Barinka got a touch on it. It goes down the ice. And Tepley was in but not quick enough as Tepley, one of the returning players from last year that beat Canada in that quarterfinal game. There's the play by Harley. He pushes up into the neutral zone and that's just a poor decision. But his exceptional skating gets him back into the play and he deflects it out of harm's way. He, you make mistakes, nothing wrong with that. Learn from them, but then don't let that mistake be compounded. He came right back into the defensive position, made a really nice play. Curling around is Pelletier for Team Canada. He'll dish it off. Holloway. Pelletier in front. Tries to jam it in right through the crease. Backhand Tomasino missed. Good pressure from this line. Another try off the side of the net. Finally scores in front. And Holloway buries it. It's 2-2. Attack the net. Attack the net. Attack the net. I'll tell you right now, Para can't find the puck and freeze it. Lots of loose pucks there. Canada attacks it. Dylan Holloway opens up beautifully, and Tomasino makes a perfect pass. But here's the first one, attack, and he can't corral it. He doesn't even know where it is. Now he's just swimming around, trying to find his way. Tomasino, beautiful pass. And you watch how Dylan Holloway opens up. He gives himself room to be able to receive the pass and to have net to shoot at. That's just a superb play all the way around. Starting with the drive to the net by Jacob Pelletier. Dylan Holloway, his second goal of the tournament, his third point. Plays for Okotoks in the AJHL back in Alberta. And a big goal to draw Canada level at two. Long shot deflected as Tracy in front. Always looking for some more gold in front of the net. And you said it, Lucas Perrick. He's made some good saves, but there are rebounds available for Team Canada. He gives rebounds out like the Easter Bunny was giving Easter eggs. <laughs> well, that's a pretty good sign for Team Canada if they keep on shooting as Zary was driving in. Knocked off the puck. He goes in hard in the corner as Rutar pushed him down. What a move there. And hauled down was Reese as he was coming in from below the goal line. Schneider back defensively, as is Damon Hunt. And a good play as the checks were changing. And Tepley's on it. Damon Hunt threw it up the boards on that long change and nearly caught the checks with too many men. Hunt for Schneider. Schneider off the boards again. Tracy. Moves it back to his defensive pairing. And it's picked off by the checks in neutral ice. Long shot, and that stops. Kulovic let that go, and again, Nolan Meyer made the stop. Long dump in, and Derek steers that into the corner. Washtruck starting the play. Legare spins, shoots, and the skate still loose back at high. Grace the side of the bar. And there you see Washtruck. He's back in after serving two and ten. Puck battle on that far corner, won by Nathan Legare. Legare, he falls. Try to drive it towards the front of the net. Wolfer 
Picks it up over the blue line. And as he dances in. Gopher lost it and watched for it. Little move to himself in that far corner. Korzak starts to play up ice. Poulan, watch trick. He drops, spins, great shot. And Legare couldn't get a stick on it as he was cruising towards the net. Poulan spins, fires right on, and why not when you're getting those rebounds? And look at the nines head to head there. As Haas having a talk with Nathan Legare, and he doesn't mind stirring the drink a little bit, Legare. Here's uh, the shot, get it directed towards that. But where Canada has a real advantage, they have the skill, but then they can come at you with some heavy play and keep the puck cycling in the offensive zone. So there's never a chance for the Czech defense to get any sense of relief or that this shift is going to be any easier than the last one or the next one. Mishak trying to drive in, and Harley says, no, not on my watch as he plays the body. As icing is the call, they'll blow it down. We talked about Kian Washkarek having the 10 minute penalty of, along with the two minute. And you know, that gets you out of your rhythm, but it doesn't appear that Ryan Suzuki's on the bench and, and dressed in this game. While he may be in the lineup, not on the bench. Canada controls Vakoyevich from distance. And that time, Eric will hold it down. So, you know, Washkar goes out of the game for 12 minutes. You know, that affects your lines when you're when you're down one from 13 to 12 and then the penalty. So there was some juggling and some combinations that Brett Gibson had to come up with on the fly. Base off one, and they'll do that again. Lining up to take the draw is Matej Stolman. He's actually one of the top face-off guys in the tournament coming in. He's second, flipping at around 68%. Those draws in your own zone so important. Right in the skates as both guys battle, but the Czechs able to control as Krabs couldn't get the puck. As Tepley comes in up that left wing. New hook though meets him. Crafty play to work it behind the net. Up for Cousins, but it was out of his reach and down the ice for an icing call. If you want your defenseman to push up and really hold ice in the neutral zone, you have to have forwards that are going to come back hard to get to position. Alex Newhook does exactly that. So, you know, if you're going to have your defense push up, no problem. And there seems to be a really good connection here between the forwards and the defense in knowing what one another is going to do and how to rely upon one another. Shots 9-1 in favor of Canada in this period as we're nearly five minutes in, and here comes Cousins. Tries to slap it behind the net, it's picked off. And it's Andre Volrap works it along the boards, but not out. Cousins, relentless in that corner, looks to free it to Newhook. It's up to Harley. Harley, Newhook, cutting in. He fires and off a of body and just high over Parik. Good pressure now from Team Canada. Cousins curling around from his man. Cousins still with it. Krebs, the back end, new hook. Cousins pops up to the point and laying out Vukovic trying to trip up his man. Harley is back and it bounces. And the checks were slowed up just enough. Harley behind his goal line, chips it along the boards for Cousins who advances the puck. Back forward is Zurich. Ranked 54th by NHL Central Scouting for European skaters as Zurich takes the body check from Holloway behind the net. Wachowski, left wing, centering pass to Nyman, and it's stopped by Meyer. Good play there from the Czechs. Harley, one on two behind the net, he wins the puck battle. Holloway is away with Drysdale. Over to Pelche. Pelche. Holloway in, shoot, stop, rebound. Tries to follow up, it was loose in the pads. As Holloway fighting behind the net for the puck and the stick of Park was lost, but he gets it back. Big shot just wide, Holloway. The rebound, Pelche, he shoots off the bar. Good pressure from Team Canada on this shift. And finally, the Czechs clear the zone. Collision at the blue line. As 
Ratulewski getting the worst of it as Tomasino shoots hard at the stop. Holloway drives in, tries to go short side, and again, what a shift. Team Canada, Dylan Holloway all over the Czech Republic. Dylan Holloway, who is 2020 draft eligible from Calgary. He was buzzing on this shift, as was Elche. And there's another look at one of his chances. Thomas Harley made a really nice play. There's the bar. So Pelletier's hit the bar for the left side and now for the right side. He sounds like a broadcaster in northern Sweden. Wilshack starts the play from his own net, picked up by Haas. Haas along the boards by a Frick Frill down the ice, and he didn't get a stick on it, so icing the face off down the ice in front of Lucas Perrick. Well, Canada is really carrying play in the Czech zone through seven minutes of the second period, and now you just keep doing it. They've had some bars, they've had a, some chances around the net, loose pucks. Dylan Cousins lost the drive, chases after Haas, who works it up to Lang. Lang quickly head up, moves it up to Brickrill. Brickrill, he'll chip and chase after it. Music. Music back up to the blue line. It's held in by Kubacek. Brickrill and Drysdale battling. Braden Schneider can't clear the zone. Lang, pretty good shift here from the Czechs as Lang gets knocked down. Haas. Waits, wrist shot, deflected in front, high, and that was over Nolan Meyer. That's some pretty good pressure there from the Czech Republic. Now, one of the things you hear from coaches is play inside out. And Dylan Cousins gets caught outside, and it's hard to come inside if the player's taking the puck like Haas does there. So a little subtle positioning on the ice where you want to be as you Try to defend, and you want to make sure you're defending inside the dots, not leaving yourself vulnerable. Borzak up the ice for Team Canada. Another icing call, so face off back in front of Nolan Meyer. I had a chat, Craig, with the president of the Saskatoon Blades and talking about Nolan. Steve Hogel and Steve said, you know what, just an absolute prince of a young man, first of all was huge for his club in getting into the, the playoffs and seemed to build momentum. He says he also loves his yoga, and I guess if you're a goalie, that's a pretty good thing. You don't have to be a goalie to love yoga. Well, they're a lot more flexible than most. Well, not if you do yoga. I'm not a goalie. No, would... You'll have to take me out then, Craig, tomorrow, day off. Do some yoga by the river. That'd be, that'd be a sight. All kinds of yoga. <laughs> Hot yoga. Mishak over the blue line for the Czech Republic. We'll save that for intermission. It's up to Jamison Reese. Reese, one on one. Reese drives into the backhand and he goes into the net. As Jamison Reese, boy, you gotta love the engine and the motor on that young man in this tournament. I, I think he's been the engine for Team Canada. I, like, you know, so many different ways. He's the guy that made the play that got him on the board. They're down 2 0 here in this game. Makes a great play shorthanded, not sh at the end of the penalty, not shorthanded to Alex Newhook. Shift in, shift out, producing, a catalyst. He has been simply terrific. Yeah, and, and, and just adding to that, everything in his game is hard. He's hard on the puck, he's hard on the body. That's exactly how you need to play if you want to win. If winning was easy, Brian, everybody do it. He's been a great example of good, hard hockey, not taking the easy path in any situation. And Craig, we told the story in the broadcast a few times. I mean, he's had a hard season. Reese had the lacerated kidney. He was suspended for delivering a high check. He had a lower body injury so, too at the beginning of the year. I mean, it's been a tough season, and you gotta love a guy who comes back and still plays that type of game with some adversity. I don't think he knows any other way. He just needs to be healthy, right? And, you know, you can't train when you have a lacerated kidney. You know, obviously, you, you can't play when you're suspended. So, you're trying to keep the edge. 
There's a guy, Craig, that I, I watched a lot as it looks like we have a penalty after that skirmish in Reese. And the guilty party looks to be Andre oh, Panichka. Oh, it looks like it's the goalie. Or serving it for him. Yeah, it's a stick. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, yeah. yeah. Unsportsmanlike. Yeah, for Perrick. So, it's, sorry, Andre Panichka will be serving it. That's what it looks like. I mean, Brett Gibson is talking to the referee here. He's not too happy. There's still five checks out on the ice and not a two-minute penalty up on the board. So I I have no idea why Sneechka is in the penalty box. Here's Holloway over the blue line. Holloway drops. Nobody there. As Toman Farbwartz chips it up. Vukojevic able to settle it down. Vukojevic has a look. Tomasino passes up to that left wing in front. Tomasino to give him the go and a pretty good try, but he couldn't finish in front. Vukojevic has a look. He shoots it right back in for Canada. Tepley being watched by Holloway as Holloway falls. Vukojevic, good job to hustle in and keep it in for the Canadians. Right in the slot, but Tepley has it again. Tepley played 15 hey, games. Hey. In the Czech Extra Liga, the men's league, back home in the Czech Republic, and he said that was huge for his experience and confidence playing in Czech Extra Liga. Tepley's on it again over the blue line. Was a key player in last year's U18 in Russia, returning player, and a guy who was pretty excited when they knocked off Canada, and now taken down by Tomasino in that quarterfinal matchup last year. Chalyavinsk and Megita Gorse, Russia, the co host cities last year. Diamond, Korzak introduces him into the boards. And stolen behind the net by Poulain. Good speed from Samuel Poulain. He's still on the puck. Washkara tried to pass it up to the blue line. It was picked off, and Kofer skates in. Meyer has a look and plays it quickly. Go for four goals, two assists, six points coming into this game. The leading goal scorer, the Czech Republic, and then he delivers a hit on Washtruck. Poulin gets to the puck first. Washtruck centering pass like a ray. Wasn't ready for it. He was turned the wrong way, but he's on the puck right now. Nathan Legare. Back up to the points, and Caden Korzak couldn't handle it, so he sends it across to Harley, who shoots it in. Nathan Legare has found a really good rhythm in his game. He's given Canada some really good shifts, not only in this game, but last game he got rewarded on the power play with a couple of goals. Spence getting physical in the corner. Prickrill tries to keep it in, and the checks are successful. They hold the zone as Lang goes towards the net. Up top, shot high off a stick as Simon Kubitschek will let it go in a 2-2 tie in Yumio. Welcome back to Umio and A3 Arena. So as we look at Lucas Perak, it was actually him getting a 10-minute misconduct right there. Unsportsman, like stepping on the stick, but it's not 2-10. So he just gets the 10 minutes, so that's why Andre Panichka is in the box. As the Czechs control, shot from the point, knocked down a hit, Spence, and he's laboring a bit. He blocked it in front, and that stung him. And as Jordan Spence, though, continues to grind out this shift. That shot missed wide. Pacheric shoots it back in, and Spence on the puck, chips it high off the glass. He gets taken down again. A tough shift out there for Jordan Spence. So for Pazdichka, who was sitting on the bench, he just moves across the ice to sit on the bench over there. Better, he better can't get a break. Better seats on, the, on this side. The 13th forward for the Czechs in this hockey game. Bodies flying right in front of the Czechs bench, literally. And Jamison Reese just drew a penalty. Again, he's right in the middle of everything. He's a catalyst. He gets involved, he gets invested. Have you ever heard the story about the uh, the chicken and the pig? 
Let's go. Let's hear it. Well, the chicken contributes <laughs> contributes to breakfast by eggs. The pig has to sacrifice because the only way you're getting bacon is if that pig dies. Jameson Reese is a pig. He's not a chicken. Which one does yoga, the chicken or the pig? I don't know. I don't think. I don't. Who knows? You know, all kidding aside, Jamison Reese, I'm not comparing the players, but there's a guy I called a lot with the Montreal Canadiens, Brendan Gallagher, who has that engine every single night. I watch Reese play, and I'll tell you, he's got a lot of Gallagher in him in that respect, and that's a good thing. Yeah, I don't think Claude Julien would like him. He's too competitive, Jamison Reese. He doesn't <laughs> like those competitive guys. He is a, he's fun. He's got that engine. We talked about it. Oh. And he's a player that just gives you his all. So Canada on the power play. Sent across, new hook, back door, in front. Cousins found on it right in the slot. You couldn't draw it up any better. Cousins again, new hook. Krebs parked in front, new hook. Down for Krebs, sends it across. Back up to Harley. Harley waits. Legare. Wrist shot. Knocked down in front, it goes high and out of play as Legare getting some time on the number one power he, play. He's earned it. He's earned his time on the power play. And again, we talked about the flanks opening up for Canada on the power play. There's another example. Legare steps right into it. It gets blocked, but the right idea. Nice little fake by Harley and then step in there. That's a lot of space and a lot of room. And as we've seen from Parrott, he doesn't corral those shots very well. Canada controls again. New hook. Krebs. Cousins right in front. Krebs skating around still with it. Drops for New hook. New hook. Backdoor pass and that stops. Good and go and Krebs was in and Parrick made the save. Cousins. Legare. Over to New hook. New hook. Still with it. Dishes off. Harley. Wrist shot right in the crest. And stopped by Lucas Perrick with 47 seconds remaining in the power play. I love the way that Peyton Krebs changes the point of attack. And it's the same thing that Alex Newhook does here. So now you've got to defend them because they're so good at making plays around the net. There's the one off of Krebs as he was going around. And then now Newhook has you thinking about multiple options if you're the Czech defenders. And he puts it right back to Harley. Really smart players. Peyton Krebs and Alex Newhook. Krebs from Okotoks off of his shaking his head on the bench. He knew that he had a great opportunity as Spence holds the zone for Team Canada. Poulain dishes behind the net. Zeri keeps it moving. Pelletier for Spence. Pelletier with a drag move. His shot. Didn't get a good shot away, but he's got the puck back. Pelletier, Spence, Tomasino. Down low, Zeri, found on it, gets it back. Off the boards to Tomasino. Spence, fakes the shot, dishes off. Pelletier, drag move, fires, rebound, moves in front. Perrick made the stop, he dives out and they'll blow it down. Some good passing. And again, Zeri, in the heat of the action again, but Lucas Perrick, a good stop as he dived out. Yeah, good maneuvering of the puck around. Pelletier drags it, there's the rebound. Samuel Pula isn't quite able to get a clean shot off. Perrick eventually finds it, but Connor Zeri has been a really strong player for Team Canada right from period one here at the tournament against Finland. Up and down the ice, defense, offense, making plays. Harley walking in, wrist shot. And in the equipment of Lucas Perrick, he didn't know where it was, but it was in the jersey, the equipment, and that will do it for the power play. They made a little switch off the faceoff, and it was Braden Tracy that comes back up top, and he ends up with the shot, and we've seen how good he's been at scoring and creating chances, but that's a set faceoff play that Canada gets a great look. Craig, five shots on that power play for Team Canada. The draw, shot, Vukojevic off a stick into the corner. Schneider picks it up for the Canadians with Holloway. Below the goal line, chipped high to the near boards. Tracy, big hit on Meshack. And another one, Reese.
Reese getting involved. So some physical play, and Canada controls. Bokojevic in front. Holloway fires high. Rebound in front. Reese tries the net. Still loose. Bokojevic in the puck battle as well. Perrick was down and out and still is. Relentless pressure from Team Canada. As Holloway's tied up, he gets spun around. Him and Barinka, they were dancing around far boards. Shots 24 to 4 in favor of Canada in this period. It's 2 2. Alois Adamczyk, the head coach of the Czech Republic, he's been around a long time. He coached the Alinka Gretzky last summer, coached the Olympics in 2006 in Italy, winning bronze. He was at Sochi as well for the program. Six times the double IHF men's head coach as well, two bronze and a silver from that tournament. So he brings a wealth of experience to these young men from the Czech Republic. Korzak for Canada shoots it in as Canada a real strong period after being down after the first They've leveled it at two as the Czechs now Looking to press and get the go-ahead goal laying into the corner met by Cousins Korzak there as well And it is Krebs who picks it up for the Canadians Krebs chips it up for Cousins absorbs the body check new hook centering pass a little back to have pass there is this line, they've had a spark in this hockey game numerous times for the Canadians and off the skate and offside. Under five minutes to go here in the second. Well, you mentioned the shots on goal. It's, it's really no accident because not only has Canada directed the shots, but they've spent most of the second period in the check zone. And they're just wearing them out. And, and again, I talk about the depth of Team Canada. It's one line, two line, three line, four line. Defensemen staying up in the press. Just right now, the Czechs have to feel completely overwhelmed. The only saving grace for them is it's 2-2 on the scoreboard. Pelleche in the corner, puck loose, fires, scores! Tomasino right in front, and Canada has the lead on a goal from Philip Tomasino, his first of the tournament. Now that it's 3-2, there's nothing to feel good about now if you're the Czechs. But again, they're quick on the puck, and they're forcing turnover, so this is a neutral zone face-off, and then Spence gets it in, but when you've been beating down on the checks all period, beating them to the pucks, you wear them down. Peltier gets there, Holloway's next. Quick spin move by Tomasino. That's the relentless pressure, the tenacity that, as a coach, you say, keep doing it, stay with it, stay with it, we'll get rewarded, we'll get rewarded. Phil Tomasino gets rewarded. Philip Tomasino, his first of the tournament, ranked 14th by NHL Central Scouting for North American skaters for the upcoming draft. And of course, the New Jersey Devils on the clock and the draft in Vancouver this June. It's an exciting day for these young men and their families and their loved ones. But first things first, a chance to represent your country here in Northern Sweden, so 3-2. Canada leads under five minutes to go now in the second period as Canada first lead of this hockey game. There's another good example. Braden Tracy coming right back hard through the middle, intercepts the pass. No chance for the Czechs to establish any type of offensive zone presence. Spence fires it in, but there's some low glass here that hits the net, so we'll have a face off. Well, here's how Canada, nice play by Reese. Newham coming out of the penalty box. That gets Canada on the board. And then the nice pass by Tomasino to Holloway. So what happens? Holloway returns the favor, and Tomasino gets the third goal to give Canada the lead at 3-2. Worth mentioning as well, Finland won 12-0 over the Swiss earlier today, so it'll be a rematch of the gold medal game in one quarter final, Finland versus the USA. Cole Caulfield, he talked about scoring two more. He broke the American record for goals in a tournament set by Phil Kessel. Two in the hockey game, he's got 11, and he's got Alex Ovechkin now in his sights for most goals in a single tournament, which is 14, set back in 2002. And there's Lego Ray taking his man down, and he's on the puck. Nathan Legare works it behind the net. Wanted Poulin. He picks it up. Centering pass. Knocked down. Washtruck was in the slot, but he couldn't get the puck to him. Poulin. Good cycle now from the Canadians. Washtruck. 
Moving in. In the slot. Washtrick still with it and finally knocked off the stick. He was doing the old coast to coast in the own zone right around the world and then nearly buried it. And now Nolan Meyer will glove that down. Two nothing Sweden over Russia, over at Irvik, and the other group as well. As we look at Poshkirk, boy, he was firing it up. Yeah, Rutar was able to get a stick on it, but the Czechs with three minutes and ten seconds left in the second, they, they just have to be hoping they get to the dressing room only down by one because they have been under siege in this second period. And Canada with three minutes and 10 seconds left, they're not gonna let up. Controlled by the Czechs, back to Osris, shot to Flex, just one rebound, and Lang was driving in. He was tied up by Korzak enough as the shot's 26 to four. Newhook looking for 27 driving in, and he couldn't get the stick on it. And that's in the period, 26 to four. So Canada, I mean, the ice tilting in their favor. We got a hooking call now as well. New hook draws the penalty. Just quick, see him take a little look there. He's looking for Peyton Krebs to see if Krebs is going to be able to jump in there. That awareness. Now try to kill a penalty. I'm watching the checks come off the bench. They're coming out with as much energy as somebody that's just run a marathon. Slow, methodical. So it's Jan Milchak in the box for the hook. He plays for Pimento Berno, the U19 team back in the Czech Republic. So he's in there for two or less. And Canada, what a chance here in the dying stages of the second. Cousins for Harley. New hook. Wrist shot just wide. And all the way out of the zone. And Harley is back for Team Canada. For Cousins. Up the right wing, Cousins. Around the net, Newhook, Harley. Back to Newhook. Send it across Cousins. And held it at the line as Colfer was trying to break that up. He dived, Cousins, back on it. Wrist shot, loose in front, bouncing around. Perrick finds it with a glove in time, and then a yard sale right in front of Lucas Perrick, who did find the rebound that time. Penalty coming up. I'm not sure who the penalty's on, to be to be honest. He's calling it on Canada. Cousins goes in to find the puck. I'll tell you what, the officiating in this game has been something to be desired, I'll tell you. I agree, Dylan Cousins is looking and going, what am I supposed to do? I'm, and then I avoid the goalie, I come back. Yeah. Brett Gibson, he's, he, he just can't believe it. Neither can I. Referees, Craig, are Russian and Finnish. Ariel Brunar and Sergei Morozov, and the linesmen from Norway and Sweden. So, the Czech Republic will try pull a level as we have a little more ice out there right now, four on four for a minute 10. Korzak up the right side for Canada. He has a look, he shoots it in. Tomasino, good bounce right to Korzak, then he lost it, now he's gotta go for a skate in his own zone. Nyman chasing after him. Drop for Schneider, who leaves for Pelche. There are two minutes to go in the second period. Tomasino has given Canada the lead here in the second period, around the net. Philip Tomasino still with it. He gets dropped but holds the line. Pelagie curls around and now Canada is forced out to neutral ice. Tomasino back in. Tomasino with space. Centering pass but Pelagie had a stick tied up. Adam Nyman one on two. Has a look. Wrist shot. No problem there and Myers quick to play it. Keeps the clock ticking. As we hit the final minute at A3 Arena, this building 
Built back in the 1960s. Had a few renovations about a decade ago. The locals here call it the Ice Barn. Holloway into the corner, and now the Czech Republic on the power play, 34 seconds. Dump back in, Zeri picks it up behind the goal. Zeri, good job in the corner. Continues to possess the puck, and he's going to keep on moving. Why not? Killing off some more time. Zeri, look at this guy. One-man show right now, and then he... Drops for Drysdale. And Drysdale has a look. He shoots it down the ice. Well, keep in mind, the Czechs have no energy to chase him around either. And I think Connor Zeri knew that. They've just been worn out this whole second period. Turnover. And that's just offside. Cousins was already cutting in with just a few seconds remaining in the second period. The second period has been domination by Team Canada. They came out with a purpose. And they executed Second one, right to the end. And it is the goal from Philip Tomasino from Mississauga. He plays for Niagara in the OHL, and he's a difference maker in this hockey game. As the horn sounds, Team Canada 